Jeremy and Phil Friedman from Friedman Adventures. Thanks for being part of the Friedman Adventures team. We've got another great video for you right now. Well, today we're on board the Freedom out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro with her absolutely magnificent crew. You'll get to meet them throughout this video and they have some really good tackle tips that will help you catch more and bigger fish. So stay tuned as all these guys are gonna join us and man, their customer service on the boat is really outstanding. There are some big yellowtail at San Clemente Island, but there's a few tips that you need to hear to catch these fish. You'll see some really great action, see a lot of fun, and as I said before, you'll get some great tips from the really outstanding crew on board the Freedman. So without further ado, let's take off on another Freedman Adventures trip. Hey, good morning. What are you good doing? Morning, good to see you. Coffee place. Coffee? Where is it? It's oh. right here. Dying. Nice and hot. Good morning, everybody. It is daybreak here at San Clemente Island, a Labor Day weekend. It's actually Monday. It's a beautiful day. And we are just kind of waiting here. See if these yellows want to bite. Everybody's got a bait in the water, changing your baits. Fishing a really good hot bait is the ticket. Hopefully this stuff gets on the bite here really, really soon. Change your baits frequently. Every two to three minutes, uh, if you have a bait that doesn't swim, change it, get back in rotation, fish hard. That's all right. you really do. Sounds Especially good. Slow bites like this, just keep changing your baits. Don't cast over anybody. All your line, just the basics, really. Good morning, guys. How's it going? You hung your first fish. It's going good, man. It's, uh, you called it too. You told me you were going to hang the first yellow today. This isn't and... the first. It just bounced one. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's right. All right, here we go. Yeah, that lively bait. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. All right, get another one. Nice, Fernando. Yeah, All right. Lively bait. Always a good one. On the A rig. I'll let them chew it. <laughs> yeah, right? I don't, I don't want to do this again. Let's go! Oh, fresh! Oh, oh the right guy. Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just running like a oh, motherfucker. They run pretty good. Yeah. Shit. Chris has got deep color. Nicer fork here. Looks good. Dylan's ready with the poker. Nice fish. Really nice gap. Good Hell job, yeah. Chris. Hey, brother. Dylan. What do you got, Robin? It looks like a nice calico, maybe, huh? Yeah. Hopefully. Or a very small yellowtail. <laughs> <laughs> a kelp fish. There we go. A kelp bass and a kelp fish. All right. All right. Next time, right? Next time. Morning, Phil. How are you, my Welcome friend? Here. I'm all right. We're off to a nice start here. Four yellows, a lot of bass that we're biting. We're sonaring up the island right now. What are we doing? What are, what are we in search of? Uh, we're searching for more of that yellowtail. I'm sure there's going to be some of that bonita and barracuda in the mix, but for all, uh, all intents and purposes, just running the sonar up down the island here, trying to find a school of yellowtail and figure a day out of it. All right, excellent. So give me an idea of what's been going on here in the last couple of weeks and what you think the future holds. Are, do we have some time left in this season? Uh, I hope so. Um, the last few weeks it's been dwindling from what we had there and 
the beginning of August, middle of August, that sort of deal. Um, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's over, but there's going to be a change. Will there be a different island? Will there be a different area of this island? It's, it's all up and down. A lot of this fish here, it, it doesn't necessarily stay in the shallow, shallow water all year long. You know, it, it spends quite a bit of time out off the island in deeper water. So it may, uh, it may have just pushed back out or it may just be on the move here. So it usually takes us a week or two to really find where it wants to be. And once we're able to do that, we're able to Excellent. start another uh, go around of what we had there at the beginning of the month, last month. Excellent. Bob, if you, you're talking to a guy who's thinking about coming out and, and you want to give him a tip or two, something that's really going to make or break his day, what would it be? I say this to everybody and I, I don't want people to take it off the wrong way, <laughs> but come fishing when you want to go fishing. Don't yeah. come fishing when they caught fish yesterday or they caught fish two days ago. Go fishing the day you want to go fishing because you can't help what's going to happen once you get there, you know. If you got to sit there and move your schedule around nine different ways because they bit yesterday, setting yourself up for disaster versus just planning the day that you want to go enjoy yourself on the water and you go out and you catch what you catch. Because many times, more times than not, you go out and you catch a hunter today and catch none tomorrow. And if you took your time off of work and rescheduled five appointments to go fishing that next day after they bite, you know, they may not bite and you're not going to feel very good no matter what you catch unless it's phenomenal to say the least that is that is such good advice i mean there's been times when i've had a trip scheduled the wind's blowing and i'm looking at my kids or whoever i'm with i'm going there's no way we're going to catch diddly today and it turns into a, one of the best trips ever so exactly you can't uh you can't bank on anything ever being the same the ocean is synonymous with inconsistency that layman's term. Yeah, that's for sure. Hey, just a couple of quick hits here, quick answers. Fluorocarbon. Are you a fan? Um, yes and no. Um, when it's needed, you know, when fishing's picky, I like it. When it's not and fishing's pretty wide open, I I tend to like to stay away from putting unnecessary knots and connections and stuff in your gear when you don't need it. But there's a time and place for it, but there's also a lot of times where you guys are worried about fishing that fluorocarbon and you're catching fish on 80 pound in the corner, it's like, I don't really think you need your fluorocarbon on when all you have to do is cast it eight five feet and it gets eaten before they can see the line, you know? A question that we, uh, guys that have been fishing a long time know the answer to, but some novice guys are listening to this, choosing a hot bait, the importance of it, and how long do you soak it? Um, it's all depending, you know? I mean, we, we make it sound really easy. We're, oh yeah, you just, you gotta catch the one that you can't catch in the hand wall, or, gotta have a hot bait this and that i mean like island fishing if it doesn't swim right away you, you gotta change it you know you're not drifting around like you are offshore where your the boat's gonna naturally drift away from your bait and i mean there's sometimes where you don't necessarily need a bait to take off at 90 miles an hour right away versus having a bait that gets back in the current and stays alive you know bluefin fishing or sometimes at the island mostly the offshore but as a general rule of thumb two to three minutes you know and then if that's not working out then you start playing with hook sizes and line sizes and stuff like that to get a bait to swim all right hey i want to thank you for having us out man i got to tell you the crew on here everybody you scott rod dylan and ronnie awesome man very very you, very yeah, good we, we try to keep ourselves up to somewhat of an acceptable standard around here so it's good to hear it all right, let's find another one. All right, let's do it. Hey, baby bites. It's all right. It's all good. The best is the best. Very nice. Is there a bonita or a yellowtail? I don't know. Get a fish. Bonita. Yeah. Nice one, man. That's a beauty. Nice bonito, man.
Nice fish. Good job. There you go. Get on him, Jaden. Get on him. Take a couple steps back for me. Keep walking back. One more. Keep that rock tip down for me. All right, second yellow here. Nice going. You got any tips or secrets? Patient. These are tough fish. Unfortunately, we lost that one, but they're big, tough fish. You got to put the screws to them, and sometimes when you do everything right, it still goes wrong. All right, these yellows are fired up. We got a couple fish going, it looks like, back here. Working our way back into the stern where the action is. A couple fish going? Yes, sir. All right. Looks like they're best friends, too. <laughs> it does, man. They're hanging out together, huh? Yeah. Dylan, what's the key here? Hot bait? The key here, hot bait, 25, 30 pound test. Floral? Little hook, yep. Floral carbons and nests. All right. And, uh, yeah, just keep changing your baits every minute or two. Keep walking down. It's like a tough battle there. What do you think? It's, it's uh, a bit too much for this light setup. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice fork. Excellent. Get, Manny, get him, get him, get him. Beautiful. Knocking farms. Kicking your butt? Yeah. In a good way, though, right? Yeah. You gotta love it. How's that feel for you to hand that fish off, huh? Boy, right here. Come on, let's get it. Keep that rod tip up. Lift, 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 wind down. Just like that. Keep it coming. Perfect, good job, you guys. Excellent. Just like that. Yeah, baby! Woo! There you go. Nice, 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 nice. Woo, that's a fatty! That is a cool fish. There you go. Is. Right. We got a fish on, Yoto. 20 pound test, a little, a little risky, but. That's it. Yeah, you called it, man. So, hey, look, let's talk about saying, something yeah. real quick. Yeah. 20 pound, you're going to get bit, but it's risky because. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Big mean Yellowtail, all this kelp right here, we're on a really prolific high spot. A lot of these fish are 20 and plus. So. You got to weigh those two yeah. things, right? Yeah, Sometimes exactly. you can get them on the 20, Sometimes though, right? You can, if you know, you really get lucky and you know what you're doing, but. Yeah, 25 pound, 30 pound test. Gotta get that fish out of the kelp, huh? Yeah, it man. Did feel like a nice fish? Yeah, it felt like a nice fish. Dylan did his best on that fish, but unfortunately, it busted off. Time to look for another big yellow. Got a good one here, huh? You're putting the screws through them. Definitely, bro. Pulling hard. What pound line you got on this? 25. Good job, man. Oof. I know, I can see that. Short pump in that. Woo! This fish is a nice fish. Kevin is really working hard to keep him out of the kelp. He's got 25 pound mono on this fish. That'll get you bit, but sometimes it'll get you in the kelp too. But he is doing everything possible. What a battle, huh, Dylan? Oh, oh man, heartbreak, Kevin. I'm sorry. You did everything right, dude. You put up a damn good Oh, man. Oh. Sorry, man. All good, man. Oh my God. Oh. I'm sorry. Damn. Kevin hooked up again, learned a lot from that last battle, and here we go with the results. Right, right, over, right over there. Nice, 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 boys. Good job. Redemption! Yes. Big gar. Back a Rudag. Nice job. You wanted a yellowtail. It's got a yellowtail. Yeah, 
Yeah. What? <laughs> Persistence, totally paying off. I've been up there with this gentleman. He's been throwing that iron all day long. No bites. Good job, man. Nice. Tough fish, man. These fish are really nasty, aren't they, Dylan? Oh yeah. This is yeah. This is this is stuff that that gets up there with Farnsworth Bank. Bob, you're bleeding the fish. Why? Why do we do that? Why is that important? Get some of the blood out of the meat and get the fish to cool down faster. You fight so these fish, their blood warms up. The quality is much improved exactly. when you do that. Exactly. I thought you were just a sadistic guy at first. <laughs> no, I'm not that evil. <laughs> Mino, what are you up to? What are you gonna do? Is that your first yellowtail? First yellowtail, gotta eat the heart. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Yum. First yellowtail heart. Oops. Don't Oops. It. How is it? Give us a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> Tasty? Strong. <laughs> oh, very Meaty. good. Meaty. Yeah. It's good. You gonna finish the whole thing? Half is good. Oh, half is no good. Half is good. <laughs> Cheers. All right, good job, man. Good job. Hey, Patrick, who needs help from the deckhand? Patrick? So good, Tyler. How many you, fish you got today? You passed it off? I got like 20 white fish. I got like 22 on video. Oh, really? Yeah. That seems to be your excuse every trip. This is a big one. Boy, we're gonna pull on this thing. Come on. Put the screws to him. Come on, you're not at Lake Irvine. Let's go. Hey Rob, you've been up there on the tank shoving all day. What'd you see today? Did you see good volume out here? Does it look good to you? It does look good. I mean, the fish, they haven't really been splashing around like that. But we're still able to hook them. As long as you keep a fresh bait out there, you know, light line, 25, 30 pounds, just keep a consistent fresh bait out there. When it gets way out, you want to make sure you wind in and pass right back up the side. Besides that, you keep that in the cycle, you'll be able to hook a couple fish. Excellent advice, man. I appreciate it. You know, it's. It's kind of a dilemma, isn't it? Between that 25 pound, you're gonna get bit, but you might lose it, but you fish 40 and you're not getting that many bites, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's kind of, you gotta toss it up there. You got the high spot out. So fishing that light line, you know, the fish is able to swim a lot quicker to the structure. If you're able to hook them on that 40 pound and pull hard, they'll come to the boat. But then again, it's all about getting the bite, you know? Great fishing with you today. Thank you, likewise, Bill. concludes another Freedman Adventures video. Thanks again for joining us. I hope you get out with the guys on the Freedom really, really soon, as I am quite sure you will enjoy your time with Freedom out of 22nd Street Landing in San Pedro. Don't forget to join us on our live podcast Sunday mornings. You can find us at Freedman Adventures on YouTube. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And if you care to listen, you can do that on iHeartRadio, Spotify, as well as many other platforms. Your favorite podcast platforms will have Friedman Adventures. Take care, everybody. It's always my pleasure to be with you all. We'll see you really soon on another great show.